Law enforcement responds to calls every day where children have to be removed from parents or guardians. While officers investigate drugs, violence, or crashes, children at the scene are isolated and terrified. So a young philanthropist, a local police department, and a state organization have teamed up to offer comfort to those children. Domestic violence or drug calls, emergency CPS removals, even DWI crashes. Well, the officers will be, of course, the first person there. And of course, we try to remove the kids as soon as possible so we can separate everybody. The children are sitting in the back of a police car with nothing to do, lights are on, they see their parents taken away. It's a traumatic experience. Tim Allen is the president of the Texas Council of Child Welfare Boards, which keeps track of children in state care and finds ways to fill gaps. He works often with Hunter Beaton, who started the nonprofit Day One Bags when he was just 15 years old, after finding out foster children often carried their belongings in trash bags. You've seen these quality bags in past KSAT stories that Hunter donates to foster kids all over the state. It's supposed to offer a little bit of a less traumatic experience. Now, each bag is being repurposed into a Serenity Activity Pack, or ASAP, kept in the back of Bernie Police Patrol vehicles filled with items to calm kids in crisis. We put a blanket, we put a small toy, uh, age-appropriate activities. I have these teddy bears, I have these little trinkets, these little toys that I can hand out to these children and say, hey, um, you know, it's, it's safe. Um, making sure that we build that trust with them. Bernie police officer Rebecca Foley helped roll out the program just last month and says it's already been successful thanks to some dedicated community involvement. Uh, our job is really to give the bags, but other organizations hear about what we're doing and they're saying, I want to help. Nonprofits and community members of all ages have stepped up to run donation drives for items to place in the ASAP bags. Each item, a symbol to children in crisis that they're acknowledged, supported, and loved. And this is a brand new endeavor, but it's already caught the attention of other communities ready to partner with Day One Bags to support the children in their own towns and counties. If you want to help out, we have the link to the Day One Bags website. Just go to ksap.com.